Well, hello there, muffins, and welcome back to the MDG Experience, a place where you can and will receive gems of wisdom, empowerment, and awareness, okay? So, y'all, I know it's been a minute since we picked it, <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I just wanted to get on here today and do this little mini reading um, of what, you know, to expect what is it that you need to know within the next few days um as far as like re regarding your self-care i'm getting my palo santo burned and um i don't know i just felt called to do this little mini reading with you guys so i'm gonna do it and let me know if it resonates if you haven't done so already be sure to like comment and subscribe and turn on your bell notifications for when i post more videos just really quickly y'all i've been like m.i.a um because there's been a lot that has been happening a lot of things that i have been working through getting through um you know and try not to let things get to me so i haven't been doing readings because i I didn't want to do readings with you guys because of my energy. Um, I have, I've been completely drained. We'll say that. Completely drained. My focus has been in other places. Um, and in all honesty, I went through like a little mini depression. And then I also, I was trying to get everything regarding my home life situated trying to make sure that i you know had had the things in order that i wanted you know um the things that i was working towards i was trying to make sure that they fell into alignment with who i am and what it is that i really want to do and making sure that you know when i do them i have it all organized and everything and it's been a lot for me because being depressed and stuff like that and trying to also maintain you know your home life and figure out what's going on with you your mind your body and stuff like that is it was a lot for me because I've never actually dealt with it um and also trying to be there for other people too and I'm, I'm going to tell you firsthand that you cannot be there for anybody if you don't have yourself in order um you can but you're probably going to drain yourself a little bit more than what you already are and i think that was one of the things that i was trying to do i was trying to be there for myself and take care of myself mentally uh physically and emotionally and it was so much to the point where i started neglecting myself when people needed advice when they needed help to try to like make sure that they had everything together uh and that wasn't good for me so without further ado you guys that's just a little story i have to do a a little chit chat about my life and what's been going on um with you guys one day and ooh, give you the tea the scoop the gems on the things that i've learned and the things that I, some things I want to share and some things I don't, I'm going to be honest. But I'm going to share it because I never, you know, know who is going to help. So, um, so today, you guys, we're in this mini reading. We're going to use the, we're going to use the Sacred Self-Care Oracle, okay? Um... And I'm just going to draw a few cards for you guys to see what it is that you need to know as far as your self-care, right? And then we're going to use the Work Your Light Oracle. To my wonderful ancestors who are walking with me, guiding and protecting me, I accept to protect my energy in the spiritual realm. I ask that you are with me in this moment. Ooh, that's a lot. I ask that you remove any unwanted and lingering energy. And I should have done this before I started, but I'm just getting myself in a nice meditative state. 
for Rackin channel for you guys. What is it that the viewers watching this video need to know in this moment? Okay, y'all. So that was three cards that came out. What else is it that the viewers watching this video? Damn. Y'all ain't taking care of yourself, huh? We're going to kind of have one more card for the viewers watching this video. What is it that they need to know? Okay. So... Um, what I'm feeling is some of you need to do a health checkup and I'm talking about like a check on your mental, check on your emotional status. Some of you do need to go to a doctor and get a health checkup. Um, I'm also, I'm hearing that some of you need to go to a chiropractor. Uh, some of you actually need to get a COVID test. Sorry, that's, that's what came to me. Sorry. Um, this card just fell out. It's a soak in a bath. So some of you need to do... When I say a health checkup, your spiritual health, you need to monitor your what you're taking in. Um, anything that does not align with you spiritually, you need to monitor that. And that could be like the things that you're watching, the things that you are reading, the people that you're around. Um, for some reason, this family car came out. And if you are a person that's like in a situation with family or you're trying to make amends with family, um, give it time and it will work out. But for now, whatever the situation is, you need to back away from it. Back away from it and allow it to happen naturally. Um, I'm also getting that some of you need to spend time in nature. I get that from this card where it says spend time with animals. Um, I'm also hearing that some of you have cats and you've been very busy and you haven't been paying attention to your cats. And I'm getting cats with an S. Um, or some of you, a cat is your spirit animal. And, you know, I didn't even notice that this, this lady is hugging a cat in there right there. I didn't even know that. Um, she's hugging a cat. Wow. But some of you, um, you need to spend more time with your cat. Your cat will bring you a lot of healing. Um, emotional healing and give you that unconditional love. Now, for some of you... You're dehydrated. Um, you're drinking a lot of coffee. And um, <laughs> you need to substitute your coffee with tea and drink water. And I get that with this drink tea card. You need to substitute your coffee with tea. You need to substitute your Coke with tea. You need to substitute your juice, your sugary juices with tea drink your tea your herbal teas and drink water okay um on the bottom of the deck when i was telling some of you need to uh check your energy for the health checkup the bottom of the deck basically says for you to do sound healing um you can also get on youtube and use uh a, a video where you remove negativity you um say positive affirmations to balance out your spiritual energy. You need to cleanse your spiritual energy. Clean your home, sage, 
and remove yourself from the toxic people or the toxic environment. And this is a message for myself too. Remove yourself from the toxic energy and the toxic environment. Soak in a bath, okay? While you do that. I mean, make a nice um, spiritual bath and allow yourself to unfold and unwind from all of this negative energy that you have been surrounded by. I'm also hearing... Some of you um, recently have had a falling out with a child, um, a teenage child. And Spirit's wanting me to tell you to back up from it just now. Just let the situation die down between you and your daughter. And allow her to come to you and express what she's truly feeling and it'll work out but you just have to listen and be willing to understand what he or she is saying it's 11 11 as i'm saying that um be willing to understand what he or she is saying and understand that their emotions are real just as well as yours and you may be the parent and, you know, you probably feel like your child doesn't really have a, um, <clears throat> have a, an opinion because you do so much, but the spirits wanted me to tell you, just hear them out because they, they have a reason to feel the way that they're feeling. That's very specific. Ugh, specific <laughs> so um yeah just allow for them to say what it is that that's on their heart okay and you will get more clarity on why they said what they said or reacted in a certain situation okay so next we're gonna move on to the work your light okay um and as I said, this is just like a little mini reading um, on what it is that you need to do moving forward as far as your, um, what is it that you need to do as far as your spiritual work. And the reason why I got these cards is because I was actually called to use both of these. But this is actually tying in because at first I couldn't understand why <laughs> I was being called to do it the way that I'm doing it. But I'm understanding now because... Some of you that um, soak in a bath and sound healing, um, removing yourself from toxic energy is another thing that I am understanding as to why the work your light came out. And I will show you this one. This is by Rebecca Campbell. I don't even think I see that right there. Um, so, yeah. We are just going to go ahead and get into this just for now. See what comes out for you guys, right? All right, dear spirit. What is it that you want them to be watching this mini reading to know? What is it that you want them to hear? What is it that is... My eye just started twitching. Um, what is it that you want them to... Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So first things first, what I'm feeling while I'm shuffling this is basically um, when I was saying that it was something that you need to remove yourself from, the align your life came out. It was something that that you were involved in that didn't align with who you were. Um Something that didn't uh, allow for you to... That's too many cards. Something that didn't allow for you to express how you truly feel. Um, that it's kind of... I'm getting belittling. It, whatever it was or whoever it was belittled you. Um, and you are... That's not who you are. You're a person that stands up for yourself. You're a person that um, 
has to use your voice and speak. And also this, um, yeah, share your voice. That just came out. Share your voice. You're a person that is supposed to say what is on your mind. You're not a person that could be um, shut up that's what I heard shut up you're not a person that is supposed to remain silent okay and so there's something that you want to do but you're scared you are kind of fearful it's a scarcity type of thing you feel like you're not gonna have it or you are you feeling like you excuse me, are going to be without if you remove yourself from the situation. I'm, I'm getting codependency. You're codependent on whoever this is, whatever this is, a job and a person that is helping you. You're codependent and you need to remove yourself from it. And it's it, the codependency is really toxic. Um, and it, it's, one-sided is what I just heard. One-sided. It doesn't allow for you to stand up for yourself and say what you're supposed to see, but you're not a person that is supposed to be quiet and silent about things. You're supposed to say what's on your mind. Um, and then this card came out too, which makes more sense as to why the self-care oracle came out to me when it said do a mini, read, a mini reading. How can you mother yourself? What is it that you need to do? Um, as far as mothering yourself and move back into the video. And those are the things that you need to do, which, uh, spirit gave to me. All right. So can I get one more card for the viewers watching this video? What is it that they need to know? What is it that they need to hear? What is it that they need to see? Devotion. Yeah. Okay. So. You need to basically listen to your heart. Listen to your spirit guides. Listen to your ancestors, right? I don't know if you can see that one. That align your life and to tune into your heart. Listen to your inner temple. Make the move based on you and, and what is being said to you. It's kind of like a, a space where you're, you know what to do but you're scared um you don't know how it's gonna play out if you if you back away from this situation you're probably scared of how it is gonna play out if you back away from this situation but one thing that you need to know is that you're okay and you step out on faith you got it you're supported in what it is that you have to do. Nobody can can judge you for doing anything different. Um, you don't have to be codependent on anybody because you have a team of ancestors and spirit guides. And I'm taking my own advice in this moment. <laughs> a team of ancestors and spirit guides who are walking with you. They're going to make sure that nothing is happening to you. You're protected. And they're going to make sure that you get what it is that you deserve. You you get the things that you have asked for, that you have wanted, that you scripted about. I'm getting that. The things that you have prayed about. Those things are going to come with you. You just have to take time back. Um, the bottom of the deck says take a break. So that really ties into a lot of this thing. Am I showing that right? Right there. Okay. It says take a break. So, yeah, as I said before, you need to remove yourself from something because it's not serving you. It's not, it's not of you. The people are not of you. It's not your soul tribe. It's not where you're supposed to be. It's not where you're supposed to grow because I think you've already grown there. You've already learned the lesson. And this is just a lesson that repeated itself. And I think it was sort of a test to see if you were going to allow yourself to stay there any longer. Um, the time was short, 
but it is time for you to move on because you've learned the lesson. I I I believe that honestly you've served your per, per yeah that per, the job has served its purpose. That person has served its purpose in your life. It's time for you to move on. The change is there. The change has arrived to you, but you're in a way backing away from the change. You're being rebellious because you're trying to keep pushing on with it and. <laughs> Wow. You're trying to keep pushing on with it and it's just time for you to go. So allow yourself to remove yourself from things that don't serve you, right? Um, allow yourself to be the glorious person you are. Allow yourself to grow and expand yourself. Um, and this is not serving you anymore. So you definitely have to Take that time to yourself and allow yourself to flourish. Hit the self-care. Take that bath. Cleanse your energy from this toxicity for, I mean, many reasons. Because you're being gifted with something. And in order for it to come in, you have to release whatever this is right now and that's in the way. Okay. So you guys let me know if this has resonated with you with this mini reading. I am glad to actually be back doing um, readings with you guys. So be sure to comment and let me know how this resonated. Like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for when I come back with more. Bye.